Hey guys, welcome to the show. I hope you enjoyed last week's episode. It was a day in the life of Kate, our 16 year old, the youngest Z Crew member. And so it was very special to put that together and edit that for you because she's my baby and she was basically raised on a boat and homeschooled all her life. So hope you check that out. We left this morning from Ibiza to head southwest to Gibraltar and then to kick off our Atlantic Ocean crossing. Not exactly sure where we're gonna make landfall over there, but we're super excited to get that started. We have our special guests on board, Glory and Jaden, and I'm gonna leave you, I'm gonna. And I'm a special uh, guest. I'm gonna start the episode out with a little, little piece of drama that happened last night, right before we packed everything up to get ready to leave this morning. So I hope you enjoy the show. Gosh dang it, I need somebody to get the water. Can you throw up the flashlight? We need a free diver, quick, quick, quick. Is the flashlight on? No, it's not on. Huh? Yeah, it is, it's on. It is. It's on. Go, Finn, go. Go, Finn, go. Finn, go. Finn, go. Finn, this 10 meters deep, do not pass out. Brother, that's only 30 feet. Dude, me? Oh, I understand. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it in that little uh, body breather. It's right there in the dinghy. It's only 30 feet. <laughs> could you do it? Yeah. You could do it? For sure. What's this anchorage? Yeah. 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 If you can't do it. Hey, Dad, were we here yesterday? Oh, there. Oh, there. So this is deeper. This is so, so much. 30 feet, yeah. that's yeah. He's got it. Oh, <laughs> that looks weird. <laughs> that water's cold, too. Is that it? I thought it was. Yeah. Oh, oh. Woo! 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 He's a hero. I can't believe it's still on. After being in Ibiza for two and a half weeks, we left about 7 a.m. Tuesday morning, as soon as the sun came up, and began the 150 mile journey as far as we could go on this tiny weather window, which will take us to Cartagena. We'll stop there for a few days until another weather window opens up for us to make it all the way to Gibraltar. So years back when we went to Tonga, we met some really great people who run a resort Whale watching. It's a business year round, but the big season is whale watching and they're usually overloaded. They need more staff. And they have offered me a spot to go work there for the whale watching season. I would need to be there before June to take the whale watching course and learn about that. And it's looking like it's a very probable, it's gonna happen. Awesome, and you work for how long, three months? I would work, yeah, three or four months. Yeah, it would just be down at the islands just make money. And do you too? Yeah. Jaden wants to go. Everybody wants to go. Lori's out to be cool to go. Well, Keith wants I to think go. if we all went, it would be a blast. It could I be think some Aussies. It could be like so fun, but I mean, it's not a thing that's super up my alley, so I would have to learn a ton yeah. before going out. Thank and like, you. I have no problem with learning a ton. That's just, it's just thought now. It's not well, we have like a year until that point, yeah. so you could get your captain's license. You don't have to have your captain's license. You need to, to have a, a guide. You need to have a skipper's ticket to run a boat. You do have to have skipper's ticket, but, but, but they place. bring girls out. And, and yeah, to be second hand. To see guides. Yeah. Okay, if Kate goes, Jack goes, Jaden goes, I go. Jaden's not going, she's going to the mountains. Kid, you don't know that. It's Tonga to go whale watching. What yeah, Tonga do you I'd not look about that. that? I can go to the mountain any time. See, that would be such a party, and you're talking about, oh, I'm gonna drive stars in the. But it's not it's not easy work down there. I we talked to the guy and then you're working all day. Every day. He hasn't invited you guys. No, he hasn't. That's why this is not actually a legit conversation. <laughs> this is all like a dream. Darren, I love you, buddy. <laughs> We're trying to fill your staff up down there. Darren, you're coming. Darren, do you want us to go? 
uh, work for you? Is that what you want? JJ. You DM me. <laughs> Darren. <laughs> Darren, I know you love me. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I was just open-minded discussion. the boat so that the wind is no longer here so this is like loose so there's no one catching it right right into the wind right into the wind and then it's gonna no one's gonna be catching that right so then you go over there and with the winch you just kind of let that bad boy drop there you go. and then it falls into the sail bag and then I don't even know what he's doing right now actually I'm sure I can figure it out and then you can go back on your course and then we're gonna pull out I don't know what sail we're about to pull out Genoa, uh, we're gonna pull out the general yeah. yeah 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 Remember what course we were on? It's way easier than my boat. Perception of what no, it looks like. We're just, it doesn't actually look we're like just all the laundry. We're it's it's Halloween and we're embracing what you grew up in. Oh, it's oh. like it's like a haunted house. We're going back to when you were a kid. <laughs> it's history day, and we're going back to your history. My house was immaculate. My parents are very very clean. That's where I get my OCD cleanliness from. I thought you lived in the trailer. You said it did, but it was a clean trailer. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> motor the last eight hours and slowed down for the last hour or two so that we wouldn't get here before the sun came up. Uh, it's about 6.30 or 7 right now and we're pulling into a marina for the next few days. Are we tied off? Yeah, yeah. we're good. All right, good. Nope, we we're are, still in the middle of the ocean. Good. We're are we? still at sea. Really, Kate? Really? We're not, we're not really tied off. Really. This is an illusion. It's your first language sarcasm? <laughs> it's really cold this morning. Massive windy. We got in here just in time. We're stuck here. We, we just got in Cartagena and the wind did exactly as it was forecasted. And uh, on Tuesday, we take off and we go to Gibraltar. At Gibraltar, we got to pick up our new fin fenders. We got new fenders there. And we'll pick up some fuel there. Probably spend less than 24 hours there. Yeah, we'll be there a day. That actually worked out right. We'll be there a day and then we'll take off again. We'll get down to the Canary Islands by, by the 12th. 
November 12th. November 12th. So then we'll stay in the Canaries until mid-December and uh, start looking for a weather window to uh, head across uh, to uh, the Caribbean. So we're getting close to being around the world twice now when we get back to the Caribbean. And how long does it take to do that Atlantic crossing? It should take us about 15 to 18 days. Last time it took us 18 days from the Canaries to Guadalupe. And uh, we're looking forward to being back in the tropics. Uh, it's starting to get winter time here, and that's what we got going. Cool, that was massive windy. We got in here just in time. Just in time. The wind really cranked up, and you know, I, a good weather window to me is a weather window where we, uh, if we have to motor, we motor. You know, unless it's a big Atlantic crossing or a big one of those. But in the Mediterranean or anywhere else where you're regional sailing, I'd rather have motor a little bit than have to deal with rough sea conditions and sea state and just a jumpy ride. The new hoodie. I got the new hoodie. It's my new favorite. They're just scared. The wind finally died around 10 p.m. and all the boats were safe and secure. We were thankful to be here at Yacht Port Cartagena. Their crew was available all night to help out if needed, but luckily wasn't necessary in this cozy and secure safe harbor. The, the other day I was thinking about this. I was thinking about how it's, it's been able to give you guys a perspective of partners and mates. When somebody's living with you for 30, 40 days, 50 days, you guys have actually got to see the good and the bad of, a, of the personality of the people that you're around. Since y'all been on Zatara, what have you learned? And my kids and, and the two girls, what have y'all learned that you <clears throat> like about a potential mate down the road? I think having like deep conversations about various things about what you believe in is very uh, good. And I think it creates a strong connection, being able to have like hard conversations about things you struggle with and things that yeah are meaningful to you I think it's that's something that I want creates intimacy yeah yeah it does and also just like humor and fun times but also where you can ask the questions that are kind of uncomfortable but it can just be like a normal and good conversation I wouldn't want to go to after you know growing through it I couldn't possibly fathom going to my friends that are the same age as me after very, what am I trying to say? My parents have been through life. My parents have been in my same shoes. And I don't know why I would go to my friends that are my age and that haven't I've had the time experience. and experience to understand the things and the questions I have for them. They wouldn't have any Yeah, they, they're just as confused you. as me. Because yeah. yeah. they're going through life at the same pace I am. That's because you're comfortable with your parents, though. It's not always the case for everyone else. Why? Why? Yeah. I don't know. That's just how the normal American family raises their children, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Just like a, a bit of fear involved. Fear, yeah. Also, Pride. probably like for some things, bringing the conversation up to your parents 
can have a different result than just like your parents talking about it without you instigating the conversation. Does that make sense? Like you could go up to your parents and start asking questions about like, so how much money do you make and how should I work this finances or what about this? Like what about sex? Like blah, blah, blah. give me like talk about it. Whereas some parents probably wouldn't bring up the conversation themselves. They would kind of wait for the kid to get curious and like ask it. If that makes sense. But then it goes past the point where the kid feels uncomfortable asking exactly. it. So exactly. you never exactly. get that knowledge passed down. Yeah, you, you that's never get true. That. I mean, what have you guys seen, when Jack and Finn and Kate, when you, when y'all look at all the kids that have come out on the boat, uh, that you you, you 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 see how they come from other families and other parents and things. What are the things y'all don't like? These are, are big questions that you're asking us. Like, like yesterday, Jane said she hates. Uh, I did not say I hated. She doesn't like too much uh, sarcasm. Sarcasm, because we're very sarcastic on this boat. We joke about everything. We make fun of everything. We poke. We plod. We just. And I think some, the crude humor too. We it's have not lots my of favorite. Yeah. Sure. I think I I meant like there's a balance to it, and I think at times there is a balance on this bill, but at other times like I get kind of tired of just the constant like sarcastic humor, yeah. and I'm like okay, okay. I get it. I, get I don't it. like whenever a young adult is raised in a household of which their parents don't encourage them to question why they raised them and teach them what they did. And I think that's not very normal. I think you guys live in a family that's very different from the normal family. Mm -hmm. uh, Some of the guys just weren't as competent as I would like them to be if yeah. they were, if I was going to be in a relationship with them. Mm -hmm. It took away it's from their masculinity. Yeah. It takes away from their masculinity. It's attractive when they're masculine. Yeah. When they can, you know, stand mm -hmm. up tall and prove yeah. that they yeah. can, Find the yeah. trash. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's a very generalized answer, but that's been great. I, that's one of the consequences that's come out of this that I think's been a bonus is you guys have been able to figure out what you don't want in a potential mate or partner down the road or a friend. The, the, the kids that come out of here, they they realize we don't want to be around Whitakers. You know, <laughs> Whitakers can be obnoxious, blunt, jerks, bossy, narcissistic. They can be all these bad things. You two, I guess, Jaden and Glory, do you look at your future career differently than when you came out? Like, what are you going to do with your life after you leave? I mean, Perspective has definitely changed since being out here. Yeah. I feel like before it was kind of like, okay, I can go this way or I can go this way. And like now I'm like, I could do any of these things. <laughs> and like the world is just so big and I can do whatever the I want. The world is your oyster. <laughs> and like, and you're the pearl. Exactly. <laughs> But then YouTube also, like, wanting, to, if I wanted to keep doing YouTube, which I do, like, I've been enjoying it, you kind of have to be doing something interesting enough to be filming it, you know? Yeah. And so that kind of makes it like, okay, so I shouldn't, and I don't really want to just go back home and do nothing, you know? So it definitely changes, I think, what the opportunities are for me, you know? I really enjoy uh, being a YouTuber and posting videos. Uh, more so for like, I don't know, a lot of people have said like how inspiring it has been and after a while when you make videos, like you come to a point, as you know, where you get tired of it, mm -hmm. but you need to find like your real meaning, like why are you making videos and not only do I like love the creativity part of it, but also just like inspiring others to live differently. Yeah. What do you think you're going to do after? I, are you going back to your boat? I, I'm gonna go home for a little bit. I'm gonna go skiing in. Oh wait, where's home? Um, Idaho. Okay. Yeah, in the mountains with the snow. Haven't been in the snow in way too long. Um, and I'm gonna kind of like reevaluate there. I definitely want to keep like making videos, but I do really want to live in the mountains for some time. I've been traveling nonstop with my family for a long time since the RV and now the boat. So I'm kind of ready to do my own thing and. Yeah, yeah. That's how Anna was. It, yeah. When she turned 18, she was like, I've had enough of this. Well, that's the way Finn is. Lifestyle. That's what? the way I am. Yeah. Finn, you ready to go, ain't you? How long do you think you'll do the in life for, Finn? As long as it. As long as it takes. As long as it takes. Do I don't know. Are you going to keep YouTubing? We'll see. <laughs> if you don't, what will be your source of income? We'll see. What, Glory, what what, what's the one thing about our family that stands out to you that's a good thing? And what's a negative thing? The fact that you guys are so close. Like, you barely ever fight. And when you do it, maybe lasts like two.
two seconds and it's just like one snappy word and that's it. I mean, we don't really fight. We don't fight. We don't fight. We argue. Disagreements we have come about from work questioning things or, well, yeah, I guess when we're we working. Get, we and, get in the moods and we throw fits yeah, and stuff. Yeah, we get moody. No, nah, you guys just maybe snap once. Yeah. And then you just go off by yourself, and like no one even knows that you're even angry. You're just spending some alone time. And then they'll come back in ten minutes and say, "Sorry, I snapped at you." Yeah, and then like I didn't even notice. Okay. <laughs> Couldn't have told. Life moves on. Exactly. Yeah. Just don't hold grudges. What do you guys think about that? We don't have very much shame in our family. Yeah, you don't have any. And we talk about the kids. I mean, y'all seen? They just talk about anything they've done in their past with no shame. Mm -hmm. What do y'all think about that? I think it's so good. That you can say that stuff and you don't have to feel like you have to yeah you don't have yeah. to be embarrassed i think also growing up in a very religious community can sometimes produce a lot of shame it does oh, for sure. and feeling like you're not good enough and i think you have to be very intentional as parents to like create a feeling of like transparency yeah and like not feeling shameful about things you might have done i think another it's positive I though, so like about your family is i think that like with other boat families that i've been around a lot of the kids have been like not helpful at all or just like they're on the boat but they're not like crew members of the boat and i see like with like jack especially like whenever you ask him to do something like he'll always be there to do it for you He's yeah. like a right hand guy and like same with Jack and Ben. Jack's a man. But like, or like a man. the dishes are literally piling yeah. up. She has and never complained. Kate about spends doing the probably dishes. quadruple the amount of time on chores doing than chores. anyone yeah. else. She does. And she I does it. I have true. never heard her complain one time. Not even she when the med crew was here. I feel like I got like very lucky. I feel like the friend group that I had, every single one of them, boys and girls, will like go on any adventure with me. We all love playing in the mountains, like when you say your friends, is it boat, boat kids, no. boat friends, or your friends back in? Back in, back in. Free back boat, free boat friends. Yeah. Okay. I think, like, I just got very lucky and, like, very blessed. Yeah, I just know that, like, it's just not like that for everyone. Like, for you, like, you I didn't, didn't have, have a friend that. group like that. No. And it's just, like... And I always wanted one, that's the thing. Yeah. So yeah. that's why coming out here with the med crew was, yeah. like, crazy because I was like, people actually want to do stuff yeah. with me. <laughs> and then I went home and then I... I not normal. I hit the, like, slight depression when I went home. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. everyone's just boring and then you yeah. find these people who, like, actually, like, have the same, like, love of life, I guess, as yeah. you. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> which boring. I guess if we went back to your very first question, which was, like, what's something that being out here you've, like, really noticed in someone, it's, it's that. Yeah. Like, someone who... We've talked about this. Yeah. Who's like an idea person? Like, yeah. it's not only us that are like trying to convince. Like, can we go do this? Or can you can we go do this? It's yeah. Like, they come up with you and they say, Yeah. Hey, yeah. Let's go. They want to yeah. have the experiences and build a fire on the beach. And Being exactly. a leader gets tiring sometimes. It, it <laughs> sucks to just have to be the best in every situation. <laughs> and with that, we're gonna wrap it up. <laughs> yes. What an hour long conversation. I don't know. A special shout out to the Hobie Cat Company for making paddleboards that withstand the wild adventures of the Z Cruise.